that was a big challenge as I started to delve into my career is how do I price these things? Um, how do I price myself? As my skills developed, I started to realize my worth. Um, you know, the, the bigger jobs and the more challenging jobs, especially through um, ICU and things where I really had to learn how to do high-end photorealism and stuff like that. I just started to look at what the, the, the market rates were nationwide for murals. And I found that a lot of it was like square footage, you know, so I started to devise a, a square footage plan because you know you you know as especially with what I do like there isn't a lot of resources you know and it's still kind of a new industry if you want to call it that you know so I looked at the nearest industry I could which would be muralist you know and I started looking at like what are muralist rates what are they taking into consideration in their pricing whether it's travel um, permits um, you know, obviously materials, things like that. And uh, I kind of looked at what the national rate was and I kind of based off of what I had been kind of aiming for and found that I was pretty much in the ballpark. Um, uh, I also have to consider, you know, the time it takes me both on the back end, the things that people don't see, which is me sketching and researching and, you know, then I have to consider the time that I'll actually be working on the mural. I'll have to consider, you know, my, my, you know, material costs and everything like that. And so I was able to kind of come up with a square footage fee that can, that has all that in there. And a lot of it, too, is, you know, I saw early on people, you know, clients early in my career when I was still learning, you know, clients and other friends would like break down like all their paint costs and all this other stuff and da da da. And like I was like, the client doesn't need to know any of that. Like, like, like it's just unimportant to their role. You know, it's just more things that they need to think about that they don't need. I, that's stuff for me to worry about, you know, is the way I started to look at it. Like, it doesn't matter if, you know, my paint cans are 10 bucks a can, you know. So when I drop the bill on them, I don't think it's, I know what it costs and this is what I'm telling you it costs. And, you know, if you want to cross reference me, that's fine. But I don't feel like I need to put all those costs up front especially when there's hidden costs that may come up like a dud can, you know, and then the client's like, well, I paid for this many cans. And it's like, well, shit, now I need a, you know what I mean? There's just a lot of things that, so anyway, so I, I looked at like the national rates for muralists and then I started to apply those to mine. And like I said, what I think I need to make, you know, and I found that I'm pretty much in the, the mid range ballpark, which I think is good because I want to be affordable um, but I also don't want to, you know, years of doing this, I don't want to screw myself either. You know, I don't know how many times I've taken on a job where I'm like, ah, oh, it sounds about this much or this much sounds good because that's a figure that sounds good in my mind as far as like, you know, if I say five grand in my head, I'm like, holy shit, five grand, you know, and then I get to working on it. And after the project's done and all these complications and time, I realize that I'm only making, you know, seven bucks an hour once it's all said and done with, you know. So, like, it was a lot of time, like, trying to figure that out. Like, how long do I usually take to do things? You know, how many preliminary sketches? I have fees for excess sketches, for changes, for things like that that I learned early on because... You know, early on, it was like, oh, I'll, well, you know, do sketch, do sketch, I'll change this, change that, change it. And then that process ends up eating up the money. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, and then also, too, there could be, you know, I, I learned to <clears throat> not have sticker shock. You know, I figured out my rates. You know, these are what I need to accomplish something. And then the client gives me their specs and then I calculate up and then, and then I like look and it's like $35,000. And I'm like, <gasps> you know, like, holy crap, $35,000. You know, they'll never go for that. And I go to the client and they're like, ah, oh, thought it was going to be 45. Here you go. You know, oh my, what? 
You know, so you've got to get your own head out of it. And like that 35 wasn't wrong. You know, once I get into the project and I start doing all the things, you know, it's like that's why I have these calculations for a reason. So like, you know, some of the things I tell younger artists is like, don't have that sticker shock. That's a big number to us. But that might not be a big number to your client. And that's also a big number because it's not arbitrary. I've come up like, no, that was correct based off of these things that I've already done a million times before. This is how I came up with this number. You know what I mean? And if I get scared and I go, holy shit, that's a big number. And I go, well, you know, and I pull back and then I do the job and I'm like, yep, it was that much to do that job because now that it's done, I did not calculate for this other work. You know, I've had a few projects like that. You know, I had one project where, you know, it was in those sort of figures, like huge, you know, numbers where I was just so like blown away by that number that I brought the number down, did the job that took me over a month to do and then realized, yeah, that was the correct number. I came up with these figures for a reason, <laughs> you know what I mean? So getting over the sticker shock of your own thing, um, like I said, I really try to be fair. I work with people as well. You know what I mean? Like, if, like well, what's in your parameters? If, you, if, you, if this isn't good for you, what can we do? Um, but yeah, like for me, none of it's about greed or any of that. It's about the ability to do a good job. And in order to do a good job, I need the, the capital to do that. Um, and however that capital pans out, whether it's in supplies and, you know, transportation and having a place that I can do it in, that's all factored in to how I come up with these prices.